reasons why the C7 Corvette is better than the C8 Corvette. Let's just get right to it. One of the most common questions I get asked on my channel is what's better, the C7 Corvette or the C8 Corvette? Now, as you guys know, I have the C7 Corvette. Make sure to like and subscribe down below, but today we're gonna talk about the reasons why the C7 Corvette is better than the C8 Corvette. So let's dive right to it. Now, the first reason why the C7 Corvette is better than the C8 Corvette is the price of them. Have you guys seen how much these C8s are going for? They're well over double the price of the actual MSRP. It is insane. Let's talk about the C7 Corvette first, then we'll dive into the C8. So the C7 Corvettes, specifically talking about the Z06, you could pick one up from $60,000 to $90,000. Grand Sports, you could pick up for about $50,000. And then the Stingrays, you could pick up for about $40,000. C7 definitely has it over the C8s, which are currently going for $200,000 plus. So what can you buy with $200,000? Even more, up to 250 dollars have some C8s go for that much. No kidding, the Z06s are insane. The E-Rays are probably gonna be the same exact thing. What can you get with that? You could get a Ferrari, you could get a Lamborghini, you could get a Porsche, you could get something with more prestige than a GM product, which GM has an infamous reputation of not producing the best cars. Let me tell you, spending that much money on GM what are you doing? If I had $200,000 to $250,000, I'm spending it on a Lamborghini Huracan first. I'm spending it on a Porsche GT3 RS first. There's no way I'm spending that much money on a Corvette, even though it is absolutely amazing when it comes to performance, but Corvette is not supposed to be a $200,000 car. This is meant to be anywhere from 50 to again, $90,000. Spending that much money, in my opinion, is just not worth it. I find more value in other things in other cars and other dreams. Again, you might be different. This is just my opinion, but come on now. $200,000 for a Corvette? Nah, I don't see that. Corvettes for decades have always been a front engine car. And recently, since 2020, they switched it to a mid engine within the C8 Corvettes. The C7 Corvette is the last front mounted engine in the Corvette lineup here, which makes it even more iconic than ever. Because honestly, when you think of a Corvette, after all of these years, after all of the history, the motor always being up front from the C1 all the way to the C7, switching it up to putting it in the mid is like seeing a Mustang going mid-engine or a Challenger going mid-engine or a Camaro going mid-engine. I would have liked to see them switch the name of it, like for instance, Mustang GT and the Ford GT. Two different style cars. Is the C8 really a Corvette if the motor is not up front? Let me know down in the comments. Since we're talking about the placement of the motor, let's talk about the motor next. The C7 platform is the last platform to have a boosted application to its lineup, which is the supercharged V8. Now, one of the coolest things about Corvettes, especially Z06s and ZR1s, even with the C6s, is that it comes factory with a supercharger. Having factory boost is one of the coolest things to have because you can increase horsepower so much easier and a lot cheaper than having to build a full entire supercharger system, turbocharger system, etc., etc. With the newer Corvettes, which I don't even know if they even have something, maybe they have turbo kits already, you have to spend literally tens of thousands of dollars just to make more horsepower. And naturally aspirated, everybody knows you can't get too much horsepower out of naturally aspirated, maybe about 100 horsepower, but when it comes to boosted setups, you could gain 150 to 200 horsepower, even upwards of 300 sometimes, which when it comes to Corvette enthusiasts, adding power is one of the things that Corvette owners love to do, making their own and modifying it. And you can't do that as much with the C8 Corvettes. You can, however, with the C7 Corvette, like porting the supercharger, getting a lower supercharger pulley, etc., etc. Boosted platforms are better than naturally aspirated when it comes to wanting to add more horsepower and modifying it. For this next reason, you guys are gonna hate me and I'm kind of contradicting my own self, but 
I am going to back up the manual transmission on the C7 Corvette. Yes, I have a C7 Z06 in the automatic, but I made a video on why I went automatic. I just want to go fast. That's why you guys see the nitrous bottles. Automatic just shifts faster than a manual. I'm saying it right now. I'm building my car for speed and that's why I went auto. But back to discussion. The C7 Corvette is the last Corvette to have an auto as well as a manual option throughout the full entire lineup, Stingray Z06 and ZR1, as well as have a manual option in the Z06 and the ZR1, which is the most important thing because the C8 only comes in an auto. Yes, autos are amazing to have. The autos nowadays are absolutely insane. They ship in a millisecond before you can even think they're already in next gear. But having the driving experience of a manual is second to none. I absolutely love having three pedals banging through the gears, cruising. It just keeps that iconic tradition that Corvette has and they just don't have it in the newer C8 Corvettes. So the driving experience is not available for C8 owners if they wanted that option. But for C7, you could get yourself a pretty badass manual transmission, which we'll probably never see another manual transmission in a Corvette ever. So taking advantage of that, the C7 Corvette definitely wins on the types of transmission. So let's look at the motor options on the C8 Corvette. You do get a V8 with the Stingray, you do get a crossplane V8 with the Z06, and then you get a V8 and a hybrid in an E-Ray. Those three options compared to the V8 and the C7 Stingray, the LT4 and the Z06, or even the LT5 and the ZR1, in my opinion, just completely blows out the options currently with the C8 platform, with an exception of the Z06, because that motor is absolutely insane. Huge props to GM for producing the highest factory naturally aspirated motor. Congrats to them, that is super cool. Literally makes more horsepower than the supercharged V8. But when I tell you, if you do little modifications to this thing, the C7 Z06 is taking back its crown. Hybrid is a very controversial subject when it comes to uh, the car community in general. Not that many people like hybrids, especially performing cars with history like the Corvette always has been a V8 rumbling underneath the hood and only a V8 with exception to the supercharger. But honestly, what do you guys think about the hybrid? Do you agree that Corvette should have went with the hybrid option with the E-Ray? Yes, the performance is absolutely amazing, but is it really a Corvette at this time? So the C8 Corvette is still developing, I do understand that, but let's just talk about the trim levels that are currently out for the Corvette. The C8 that has a Stingray, has a Z06, as well as the E-Ray. Now let's talk about the C7 Corvettes, which is complete, but it does have the Stingray, it does have the Grand Sport, the Z06, and the ZR1. Some would consider the ZR1 to be the most iconic trim level of a Corvette. Yes, the C8 is still developing. We might see the ZR1 come eventually, but as of now, the C7 Corvette Corvette remains king having the ZR1 as an option and in my opinion it doesn't matter if you have a thousand horsepower it doesn't matter if you have zero to 60 in one second it doesn't matter if you have a hybrid motor powering your car if it's not a ZR1 I don't want it ZR1 is definitely king of all trim levels now that we kind of talked about the motors let's talk about the exhaust that comes out of these engines D8 Corvette they sound really really good especially that Z06 with the cross plane but in my opinion it sounds a little bit too exotic if you were to ask me the C7s keep its deep low rumble and I absolutely love it my exhaust is going to be aftermarket but even when it's stock it still had that lean mean fighting machine that American presence now the newer Corvettes are sounding a little bit too exotic exhaust should be deep low aggressive menacing loud and all those adjectives combined it should not be sounding like a Ferrari in my opinion but to each their own let's go ahead and fire her up <laughs> low that is you hear the rumble you hear the tone very aggressive compared to the c8 corvette and in my opinion this is what a corvette exhaust should sound like now let me ask you what do you think is the most desirable modification on a corvette what makes it sound like a real race car what makes it own the road a camshaft everybody wants that rumble everybody wants that chop everybody wants to be a race car driver and with these c7 corvettes there's many cams out there and more cam 
available options where you don't need a full on different computer. You don't need to spend literally $10,000. With the C7 Corvette, there's many options to cam and they sound great. So many different cams out there and they're more available. Unlike the CA Corvettes, I have seen a couple online. They do need their own standalone ECUs. They spend about $10,000 to get the cam installed when cam installs should not be expensive. They should be about $1,500 to $2,000 at most, which is how much it is cam this Corvette. So just having the option to cam it and having many cam C7 out in the road already makes this way better than the CA Corvette. Let's go ahead and check out some sound clips of a cammed C7 Corvette. Now again, there are a couple guys out there that have the cam C8s. It does sound good, but let me tell you, you're not gonna get a C8 and spend as much as you would for a C7 on that C8, because you're breaking your wallet when it comes to camming that C8 with so much hours of work, so much money. It's just better and more affordable and makes more sense to cam a C7 than it is a C8. Those are the reasons why the C7 Corvette is better than the C8 Corvette. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Let's start a discussion. Let me know if I should include any other details any other video ideas that you guys want to see we have more videos like this to come so make sure to comment down below give it a big thumbs up subscribe i'll see you guys on the next one deuces